Hello and welcome back to Beckler Guitars and Repairs. Uh, today we're going to be installing a K and K Sound Mini Pure Pickup right here, and uh, we're going to be installing it in one of my favorite acoustic guitars. So yeah, I'll show you that guitar. <laughs> All right, so here's the guitar we're going to be installing it on. I'm going to do another video um, just about this guitar in general, showcasing it and its specs, because uh, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I built this about eight years back or so, and uh, it's always been one of my favorite guitars. It plays great, and it sounds really good, and it looks pretty cool too. So I kind of modeled this after uh, a Martin, a specific Martin, the Clarence White model and uh, yeah it's got spruce top really nice Indian rosewood back inside solid piece and uh, ebony bridge ebony fingerboard mother of pearl dot inlays I got some mother of pearl inlay on the headstock itself and bone nut bone saddle bone bridge pins yeah, it's uh, it's pretty nice. I really like the herringbone on there. I think it looks pretty classy. But yeah, um, if you've never built an acoustic before, it's awesome. It's extremely rewarding. Um, but it is time consuming. It takes a lot of time and tools and sanding. <laughs> so there's the, just a look at the back. It's got a really nice rosewood on there and uh, this is a Spanish cedar neck yeah and I put some nice Schaller tuners on there so anyway um, I'll be doing another video on this guitar specifically but today we are just going to install this pickup so I've just been reading the manual uh, the first thing we need to do is to take the strings off um, then we need to drill a hole in the back for the pickup, like where the output jack's going to go. Um, this guitar has never been drilled for uh, a strap pin or anything, so I'm going to be going in straight, straight into the wood, no other place where there's been a drill hole. And then um, we're going to go ahead and install that pickup using the jig. So okay, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna drill the hole first. So I've already marked this off with a set of digital calipers where the middle is and I'm going right in the middle of my end flash here. And I'm gonna put some tape down just to make sure I uh, protect the finish a little bit. There's my hole there, and I'm just using my awl to make it a little easier for my bit to get in there uh, so I don't slip. Then I've got uh, different sizes of bits. I'm going to go up towards um, the biggest one, just so I have the least amount of risk of uh, tear out. Alright, let's go ahead. Let's make sure we're getting started in the right spot there. Step up higher to the bigger bit.
There's the hole there. Um, there was a tiny bit of tear out, but uh, I kind of glued that little piece of uh, wood that came out back in. It's not too terrible. I'm sure that uh, once it's screwed in, it won't be able to see much of it anyway. So uh, that just happened. I was going a little more aggressive than I should have. I should have been going pretty slow and very, very slowly do it. Um, so I was just a little bit too aggressive. Haven't done this in a while, so yeah. Next time I'll remember to be a little bit more conservative with my drilling, but overall, not bad. Okay, so I've just taken the strings off for now, and now we're gonna start doing uh, the pickup installation. So, uh, K&K did a really good job of including really detailed instructions, so it comes with a really good book, and if you read through it, you know, page by page, it gives you a really good detailed um, instructions. Okay, so here's the jig. So, first of all, we just install um, the white part into the E string hole. And then we're going to put the golf tee into the G string hole because this is going to be the high E here. And then we're going to put a little piece of putty where the string will intersect onto the saddle. So I've uh, made sure that's nice and pliable and stuck it on there quite, quite well. Okay, now that I'm almost ready to glue on my first sensor, uh, I just want to show you what I've rigged up here quickly. So I've just fed a guitar string, uh, string through the end of my output jack and uh, that way when I'm done gluing all the sensors I, can, I have it fed through the back hole here so I can easily just pull it through and get it into place without having to jostle it or get my hand in there and you know move stuff around and accidentally knock a sensor out of place or something like that. So uh, yeah just making it a little easier to do once we have the sensors in place. Okay, so the next step is to put one of these sensors uh, and then put it right onto the sticky putty and then get some glue on there and then glue it into place using our, our uh, jig here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's on there pretty, pretty well. Just maybe really make sure it's uh, stuck on there good. So yeah. Just give it a little bit of pressure and really make sure it's on there well. And then <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of the super glue. So I have this super glue gel. So I think they want you to lose, use the gel just because uh, there's less chance of it running when you put it into place. So what? here's the order it's gonna happen. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue there. Then I'm gonna put this white uh, T into the E string hole. Then I'm gonna put the brown T back into the G string hole to keep everything square. And then I'm gonna manually push up on this jig until that glue sets. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so the super glue gel is on. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take out the brown tea and put this in to place. So there we are, it's uh, into place here um, with the with the jig there. And I'm just gonna hold it into place a little bit longer just to make sure we have a good set. Okay, the first two went really well, they're in exactly where they need to be so I'm just working on my last one here so yeah I make sure that's on there quite well onto the putty and then I put a generous amount of gel on there not like a crazy amount but a good coverage amount and then I'm gonna find my and then I'm just pushing it into place so you want to hold it there for at least 30 seconds and then you want to remove your hand and uh, just let the jig, leave the jig in there while the glue sets for another 10 minutes. And then you should be able to wiggle the whole thing off and uh, everything will be installed. All right, now I'm just gonna use a mirror. Everything's finished. Um, I just wanna use a mirror test to show how everything's kind of as it should be. Let's see if I can get a good angle there. So yeah, you can see one, two, three. 
and they're just in the right spots where they're supposed to be. So one over the low E, one right in the middle, and one kind of in between the high or the low E and the A string. So yeah, I'm happy with that. It looks like the glue all bonded quite nicely and right where it needs to go. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put on the bolt. The nut of it rather. Okay, nice and tight, and then just the last part that goes over the bolt. There we are. Okay, so I have the guitar all back together, everything's installed, so yeah, there's our uh, input jack there, and uh, yeah, everything's working well, I have it plugged in, make sure it works, and it does. Uh, I'm plugged into the Marshall AS100D Soloist, and uh, I'll just give you a quick idea how it sounds here. Um, everything seems to be nice and balanced in terms of output, so I'll just go through E to E here. got the EQ set pretty much uh, 12 o'clock uh, I've got a little bit of reverb on there and uh, that's about it so let's uh, hear how it sounds here
So what are my final thoughts on the K and K Pure Mini pickup? Well, it's uh, a great sounding pickup. It's um, it really sounds like the guitar. Um, sometimes when you get pickups and you install them in your favorite acoustic, and it doesn't sound like how it sounds like just playing it acoustically. So this actually captures the sound of this instrument really well. It sounds the same coming through an amp as it does just playing naturally and uh, really really great sound um, nice and balanced uh, all strings come through really nice and clear and the installation was not that hard at all um, basically just that one hole you need to drill on a standard acoustic and then they have that little jig set up um, you just need some glue and some patience it's a really easy to install pickup it's not too expensive either I think I paid around $220 for this pickup um, yeah, if you find a good deal on one of these, absolutely take it. I'm going to be buying more of these for more of my acoustics because, uh, yeah, no fuss, no muss. It's right there. Um, you don't need to worry about batteries or um, any sort of controls or anything else like that. You just do that right from your amplifier or whatever EQ you have. If you're plugged into an interface or something like that, it'll be all done on the thing rather than the guitar. Yeah, the installation went really smooth. Um, I guess the only issue is I got a tiny bit of chip out. I don't know if you can even see it there um, from just being a little uh, not quite careful enough with the drill. But uh, I've sealed the chip and you can't quite see it. So just something to be aware of when you're drilling into an acoustic guitar. Take your time and uh, go slowly step by step with uh, the different sizes of, of uh, drill bits. Or if you've got a Forstner bit, that works great too. I didn't have one today. The one that was the right size. Uh, all the ones I had were too big. So, okay, yeah, that'll be it for today. Thanks for tuning in to Beckler Guitars and Repair. Uh, in a future video, I'll go over this guitar. This is the one I built, because it's uh, pretty special to me, and I can go over all the different parts and specs. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, see you next time.